Hello everyone and welcome back to another online battle. My name is Dan Pope and this was me playing Mastodon and my opponent, opponent was playing Cartridge. Um, he brought quite a few mercenary uh, units and Carthaginian hoplites uh, and quite a lot of chevronage. I wasn't able to put that many chevronage on my unit so I'm not sure how he had more money but uh, I don't know if that is what uh, if that's what's gonna make a difference in this battle or not, but the idea is that those eastern sandflies are interested only in gold, not on. Um, I was gonna listen to my general talk trash. So for Macedon, I brought um, thirty or spears. I brought three. Uh, four thirty or spears. I have. I believe three hoplites and two thorax swordsmen. I brought two regular slingers and a mercenary Cretan archer. My general is a royal peltast. Um, I have uh, two light peltasts on each one of e on each wing, um, kind of supporting this thirty spears for whatever comes on the wing. I have two citizen cav. And I hid back in the woods a Thessalian cav. Um, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Uh, so he's over there, so I positioned over here. I know that he has, for some reason, on fast forward, we're just gonna lag today. Okay, how about some more fast forward? I saw two of his cav go that way, so I went this way to with the citizen cav to try to intercept. Um, and then two of his cav were over here, so he has two mercenary. Light horse on this side. He had uh, another mercenary light horse on that side, and a um, whatever the mercenary unit they get. Anyway, um, so he's got, I believe, three Libyan hoplites. Three Libyan speed. hoplites. He's got Carthaginian hoplites. Um, mercenary Iberian swordsmen. Uh, this cav went and, and hid, so I'm like, well, great, he's gonna just, you know, come at me some time, and, um, depends on when he comes at me from the back, I will have to be ready. This citizen cav discovers the mercenary scutari cav, that's the name I'm looking for. I'm like, well, I'm not gonna win that fight, and he was paying attention because he activated, uh, frenzy charged. Uh, he has another mercenary scutari there. So I'm going to have to run away with my citizen cav and he actually gets killed because of all the javelins that he's going to take while running away from there. Um, and at this point his elite skirmishers, the three Bulleric Slingers and the Cretan Archers are not firing. He's kind of keeping them on, on um, reserve. But those guys have focused fire on my Cretan Archers and I noticed it kind of late. I end up losing a lot of them before I move back. And um, I was trying to fire at his, but I don't think they were really hitting. For the gods of Olympus. So quickly I was like, well, this might not turn out very well for me. I moved my other citizen cab back here uh, while this one was getting demolished because I didn't want to lose more units. Um, my spears were hidden here. I was hoping that he would follow Chase, but he did not. So I moved my mercenary creed and archers back. And I'm gonna have to move my slingers back as well because he's focusing on those. Quick march. So Double time. Uh, then I realized that he's just gonna shoot me to death if I sit here. Um, which I could have I could have sit and you know try to deplete his ammo a bit. But I was like, well, Break I don't I don't have time for that. Let's see what happens if I if Entry. I charge, so I, I gave charge orders for everyone. She's gonna charge, counter charge my own. Now, his infantry is in range of my uh, skirmishers as well. Well 
Here, these guys just set back and, and shot their uh, javelins. These are 30 or spear shooting javelins into hoplites, which won't do a lot of damage, unfortunately. Um, Yeah, I don't think I'm doing half bad on the charge. Um, and I try to bring my general in. His uh, Polaric Slingers are going to keep firing. These guys are still tossing their jab. I bring my Tessalian Cav in uh, to attempt to um, go through this gap. Um, and he kind of had his general there, so I was like, well, he might engage, but that's... Not a very strong unit. And then uh, these hoplites decided to stop taking um, javelins from me and attacked. So. Yeah. My cab is gonna squeeze through. But won't be able to do much. Um, and uh, his slingers are still focusing on my skirmishers. I'm having to... I, I engage this general for a second, thinking that I might kill him, and then I noticed that he's bringing all his cav behind me. So I was like, uh... I don't know if I like this. That's kind of a dangerous unit. He's, it's his, you know... Got there's some stats on the Scutari cav. The light cav I wasn't really scared of. Um, and so I moved my Thessalians in, in order to kind of start chasing uh, his slingers. And then I was like, I think I croaked for a second because I messed up my um, micromanaging. Uh, my citizen cab were trying to slip through here. And they didn't get anywhere because there's just too many ja javelins and archers. Um, and I should have positioned these guys, this pell test, to... Uh, fire on the light horse that would have damaged him pretty bad and I could have take I could have done with moving one of the Thurier spears away uh, because if he didn't actually have a charge another uh, attack order they might have and, and they were wavering there the hoplites so I could have uh, braced against this charge my other light peltas get overwhelmed um, the citizen cav got into their mercenary creed and archers, but there were uh, Katari cav right there. Um, so yeah, I was like, well, my Thessalians are kind of winning, but they're getting shot by slingers. So that's not good. Um, so what I wanted to point out from this match. Um, as well as the previous one I uploaded. Uh, why is it like now? Didn't do that when I recorded the other match 10 minutes ago. Um, is that my units, again, um, will decide to waver and route quite early. Which, I don't know if I would have been able to beat. Um, He's gonna get a nice charge, rear charge here, into my general, but I think I turned him around in time. Yeah, not really. Didn't really turn him around. His uh, calf have no real business being there because they would get beat eventually. But then, you know, Thorax swords with 60 men are wavering because attacked in rear. That's fine. Um, these guys are in spear wall, so they won't take much damage. These guys are in spear wall, they won't take much damage. So I was hoping to sort of uh, play an attrition war, and I put everybody in. Hop by wall, spear Understood. wall, stuff like that. Um, his slingers, I don't know where they're going, they're just repositioning. He's gonna get more charges in. See somebody get killed. Yeah, it's 
not happening. Uh, but then look, uh, okay, so that's, that guy's 50. This guy's with 130 and 69. 130 30 spears there. My general still has 82 people. I was too slow to show that off. But so anyway, anyway, I still had like maybe five or six units with, I guess, four, five, six units with um, pretty strong numbers. And if I'm f if I'm quick enough, should I not be able to like you know get into a box? And wait for his um, slingers to run out of ammo. Uh, they should have been close to that by now. Um, and then maybe just kind of win the war of attrition that way. He w yeah, he would have charged me in, and if his hoplites, you know, wasn't were not gonna be able to kill mine. Um, his killing power was these guys. Uh, so I don't know. I I don't like the fact that the men route too early. Uh, in this batch, but I also think that this guy had more money than me since he started with all those chevrons. If you go back to the beginning of the video when I loaded the replay, you, you would see that all these, most of these chevrons were already there for the hoplites and the uh, uh, Gaelic light horse. And I wasn't able to put any hoplites on mine. I put hop, I put chevrons, not hoplites. I put chevrons on my Thurio spears. Because uh, I wanted that extra strength for them on the wing. And I knew that these guys should be strong enough to hold out for a little bit. Uh, so my strategy didn't work out. I wasn't sure what to expect from Cartridge. We, he did say that, you know, the rules were no artillery or elephants. So I was like, fine, I don't have to worry about elephants. Um, but yeah, I wasn't able to charge him with the salients and do any rear charges and his killing power were the Balearic Slingers really um, this guy did really well for me but that's about it uh, let me know what you think of this fight I think I could have done better um, overall my micromanaging wasn't good enough uh, but yeah, leave a comment and hit the like button. Also, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.